Hi everybody and welcome to a new video. My name is Melanie Josephine. I am the author of Rock Your Opaya and today I'm talking about five tips to spice up your au pair routine. The tips that I'm giving you today are not just related to the routine with the children, they're related to your general routine. I mean your whole day, not just the day with the children. Everyone who has been an au pair, especially if you have been an au pair for quite some time, knows that at some point usually you hit a point where you feel like Oh man, done it all, it's all the same, every day I'm doing the same, just following my routine, I'm like so bored. Yeah. So that's why I'm making this video for you. So, tip number one. Tip number one relates to self-study. Now, if you hate studying, then maybe this is not your tip, but I have five. So, let's see. But I think that you can find something, even if you're not the study type, because there is so much out there. What am I talking about? I'm talking about self-study courses that you can do from home, that fit with your au pair schedule, that are flexible, because you know, very often if you're an au pair, um, you have to be flexible for the family. Maybe you work a few hours in the morning, a few hours in the afternoon, maybe your schedule varies every week, you know how it is, but if you sign into an online self-study course, you can decide how you're going to do your timings. And that's really, really great. And the other thing that's really great, there is so much out there. Um, I'm referring to Udemy and Skillshare in this video. This is not sponsored by the way. I'm gonna link the websites down below. But um, for example, with Udemy right now, I'm doing a couple of courses with Udemy and I can really recommend the website to you because there is such an amazing variety on uh, in online courses that you can choose from that I am sure there is something for you. Another reason for you to do an online course is, I mean, other than you being bored, is obviously that you can get something out of it. You um, learn a skill or you learn something that you've been wanting to learn for a while, or maybe you can get some more information on a topic that you wanted to dive into, or um, if you're not sure what to do after your repair year, this is a very good way to just, um, put your nose into different subjects and it's it's not very expensive at all. So you can try different things and see what interests you and what do you want to study when you finish your au pair year. Tip number two, meet friends. Now maybe you're already doing this, but look at your schedule and see are you really making the most of your time are you really meeting everyone you want to meet maybe you can do an activity that you've been wanting to do for a while but you haven't had a chance to when it comes to the um routine with the kids look at the schedule and see if you can make any changes anything that spices up your day, any activities that you have in mind that you can do with the kids that you can add to the schedule. I know it depends on the family that you work for. Some kids are totally booked out. There's nothing that you can like sneak into their schedule. But if there's maybe one afternoon where usually there's nothing happening, maybe you can come up with a creative activity I write in my book about activities that you can do with the children different ages um, but there's also plenty that you can google. There's just so many things that you can do with children that will spice up your day. Tip number four is get a new hobby. Now think to yourself, was there something that you wanted to do when you arrived but you still haven't done it? Was there a hobby that you wanted to sign up for? Did you want to go to the gym? Did you want to join a football club? Did you want to join an acting group? Think and check out if you can do it. I know sometimes it's tricky with the schedule, 
but just see what you can do because the more you do that you enjoy, the more you will enjoy your entire au pair time. Tip number five is spice up your cooking. And I don't mean like make it really spicy unless you want to. Um, I mean that you have the choice to try different dishes. I mean, you have to check with the family and it sometimes depends on how much the children are willing to try because I know there's some children who are sticking rigidly with the three meals that they like but you know I'm sure your host parents would love if you cook for them sometimes and there's there's really amazing apps that you can use to try out different recipes and that way the more recipes you try the more you can cook when you come home I mean it's a really great skill to have and that's another way to use your time wisely. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below which tip you like the most and also let me know if you did any of them and if they changed your au pair routine. I would really like to know and I will see you in the next video. Bye!